Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about very important topic of TestNG, which is managing dependencies in uh, TestNG. So if you go to the TestNG documentation, you will see the dependencies, uh, you know, uh, tag here. If we go to dependencies, then uh, there are two ways to manage dependencies in uh, TestNG. Either you can put the annotation, so uh, annotation to the methods or the test cases and the uh, next one is basically you can manage dependencies in your XML or the suite XML that will see as well now if you see the dependencies with annotations there are two types hard dependencies and soft dep dependencies now what hard dependency means is that if uh, you know say for example uh, you have uh, provided the dependency of a method on another method and the dependent method fail then in case it is hard dependency then the uh, the method that is depending on the previous method will get skipped okay and in case of a soft dependency if you if the dependency is there on another method then uh, if the that previous method got failed still the method will get executed now to take a uh, real example uh, or scenario, it would be, say for example, you are trying to test the user registration or user search and user search will require that particular, you know, user to be registered first, right? So uh, only, you will be only be able to search a particular user or registered user only if the user has been registered previously. So you could have a method or you you might have a method which will be required to register a user okay and then a user search so for the user search method that user search method will depend on the user register method because unless until that user is registered user search will anyways fail so you know dependency helps in these sort of scenarios wherein there is a dependency between different methods or tests so let's go and understand the test. So I'll open this report test itself. And what I'll do is I'll just rename it to uh, dependency test. All right. So let me rename it and we'll say dependency test. All right. Okay. So here as well, let me change it to dependency. test and I'll remove this class from this test ng.xml all right and that's it okay so in this particular file or in this particular class uh, I have separate you know methods okay so let's say for example this method is user registration okay and this is the test which registers the user so you'll have you know your steps within these this particular method to launch the application perform the steps accordingly using selenium web driver and do the registration okay and once the registration is successful then say for example the next method is to search the user okay and verify that the user exists in the database and you can search the user in from the front end or from the UI so now this user search method will return the registered user only if the user registration has been successful right so this method basically now this particular user search uh, method depends on user registration because if user registration failed then user search won't be successful or it won't return any user as such right so here you can use dependency that is provided in test ng so in order to manage dependency you can provide the dependency in the tag so um, in the test tag what you can say is you can simply say depends on methods right so if i simply say depends on we'll see what all different types of dependencies are available as well right so if you say depends on you will see depends on methods depends on groups so you can specify you know either methods or groups depending on where uh, on which you know uh, whether on method or group it depends on so you can see here in the test tag you can provide depends on groups or methods and then even in these annotations right before after before uh, test after test groups 
you can also specify this depends on methods and group attribute okay so I can I'll simply copy depends on method and here I'll simply specify the method on which this particular method depends so I'll simply say user registration okay and that's it so now what will happen is if this particular you know test fails this second method user search will get skipped so if I fail this particular test assert dot assert uh, true for example and just pass false in it so this method will fail or this particular test will fail let me import assert all right and so this particular test will fail this will be skipped and the rest two test cases will be executed because there is no dependency tag on them right so if i just run this particular file we'll see the results okay all right so you can see there is only one test that got run let me see why uh, what the issue is here dependency test looks like it's not saved properly let me rerun okay yeah so this time it got executed and you can see that here in the right hand side user registration got failed right so here it got failed there is an exception and then test uh, you know three and four got executed and user search got skipped okay because this was dependent on other method right so depends on not successfully finished method okay so if the method on which this particular you know method is depending on doesn't you know finish successfully this method will get skipped okay so this is hard dependency now the next thing is to understand about the soft dependency let's understand soft dependency now in case of hard dependency if the method depends on another method and the another method got failed then the method which is depending on the another method will also get skipped in case of soft dependency say you have a method a which depends on method b but method a needs to be executed always doesn't matter whether method b got failed or passed then you can utilize soft dependency okay and in order to specify soft dependency so that method a always get executed you just need to add this attribute always run is equal to true for that particular test okay so for example here this user you know registration or this user search def depends on user registration method right if i want to always execute this user search method doesn't matter whether user registration passes or fails i'll just add this attribute always run is equal to true with this depends on method uh, attribute and then if you run it then the execution for this particular method user search will always happen even though user registration has got failed right so user registration got failed but still you can see user search has been executed successfully so that's how you will manage dependencies using the tags okay within the annotations okay so you can manage dependencies with annotations and then with also the xml okay so if you um, you know scroll down and see the section of dependencies in xml you will see that you can specify your group dependencies in the testng.xml file okay so please note that you can only specify the group dependencies in the xml suite file and not the method dependency so if you have to specify method dependency you have to stick to the annotation um, you know way that we have discussed here so it depends on method and specify the soft dependency or hard dependency depending on your requirement if you have a, a dependency on a particular group you can go to simply test ng xml your test suite and then add the tag accordingly so you can simply say dependencies tag 
and then specify the group name okay so depending on what group you have defined you can simply add that in your you know dependencies uh, add those groups into your dependencies tags okay so within the group you have dependencies tag and then between the dependency you specify the group name that depends on another group okay so for example you created a group of uh, regression and then that re regression uh, group of test cases depends on you know uh, say for example uh, data setup for the regression suite right so in that particular case if the data setup hasn't been successful so here for example i have you know written data setup and data set uh, regression test cases say name regression test case depends on data setup and if data setup is not successful or the the test cases that are there in the data setup group are not successful then regression test cases will fail and this is the tag that you need to use in your test uh, tag so simply something like this so within you know test i'll simply add groups okay and the dependencies accordingly okay just specify the name of the group which depends on the separate uh, the another group and the dependencies will be added accordingly in your xml file okay so that's all about uh, you know managing dependencies in test ng uh, so you can manage with the annotations what are hard dependency or soft dependency and then managing dependencies or group dependencies with xml file as well so that's all for this dependencies tutorial Hope you like it. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.